Hello YouTube, this is Lori Girl 2 and I'm here with a garden update. Um, a couple of days here before I leave for my um, cruise, but I've been very busy planting and since we've had such a mild um, winter and we have spring-like weather right now, I don't know if you can hear the birds in the background, but uh, it is just beautiful. It's got 75 degrees out here and it's just gorgeous. So I'm getting all my plants in before I leave, or as many as I feel safe getting in. So I thought I'd show you what I have. I have some butter crunch lettuce here. The first row is butter crunch and a couple of the second row. And then the rest is romaine. And then I have another half a bed over there to um, plant some seedlings I have in the house. I have uh, arugula and uh, red leaf lettuce in the house. So. Um, these are onion sets um, that I don't know if you can see that or not, but I stuck all those little guys in the ground and I have these little spikes sticking out to discourage the cats from getting in there because I don't have my fence up yet. So um, we took the fence down this year to move it out um, about another eight feet out from where we are. Uh, where we have the fence post now to give us more room for growing and um, so we haven't moved those out yet um, but soon I have red cabbage here it's really hard to see it but mm, it's in there somewhere so there it is red cabbage um, this is my garlic um, it overwintered really nicely so these are regular garlic here uh, in the front is um, elephant garlic and this whole bed here is elephant garlic so it's doing really well they look like tulips um, but anyhow this is um, what the heck is this this is cabbage just green cabbage it's called 45 day cabbage so um, I've got a whole bed of those and then here we have um, one and a half beds of kale. That's the winter borer kale. And then I have collard greens. And I grew these seedlings myself, so they're small and hard to see, but they're there. Um, let's see if I can get that. Yeah. So they're lost sort of in the mulch, but they're there. And then this is collard greens as well. And then this is broccoli. I have um, two beds of broccoli. So I'll have lots of broccoli this year. And uh, this year, my husband and I decided to grow half of our potatoes in grow bags. So these are the grow bags. Um, they're 10 gallon grow bags and they have a nice um, drain holes on the bottom. See those or not. But there's holes on the bottom where the uh, water can drain out. I have them sort of folded down right now. Um, and then as the plants emerge, um, I will be able to add more soil on the top and then pull the bag up around it. So right now I have five varieties of potatoes planted. I have uh, red Pontiac, uh, red Norland, um, Kennebec, uh, blue Adirondack, and Yukon Gold. So right now I have 20 potato bags that have been planted. And, um, and then I have this bed, um, which is a four by four, plus this one, which is like a three by four. Uh, with the other potatoes, the rest of the potatoes that we didn't, weren't able to fit in the bag. I only put one potato in each bag. Um, I wanted to give them room to, to grow. So just one potato for each bag. And then I have one, two beds of potatoes. And then here I have um, Brussels sprouts, a whole bed of Brussels sprouts there, half a bed of Brussels sprouts here, and cauliflower there. So, 
um, that's what I have planted so far. Um, that's the hoop house where I have raised up some of my seedlings. Uh, we just have that sitting on top of one of the garden beds. And right now I have some broccoli in there that I have planted for a friend. So, um, so that's what I have in the hoop house. And of course, getting to the greenhouse. The greenhouse has to sit without plastic on it because we went to Home Depot and purchased the plastic and um, only to get it home and find that that plastic was opaque and not transparent. And so um, we weren't able to use it. So we had to take it back and we spent the whole part of, uh, the better part of one day looking for plastic for the greenhouse at Tractor Supply, Lowe's, Southern States, uh, and two other nurseries and we were unable to find it. So I came home and ordered it from Amazon and it's going to be delivered while we're away on vacation. <laughs> So I'll have to wait till I get home to to do and um, I guess that's okay. I'm going to order some more of these grow bags here, the 10 gallon ones, and I'm going to um, plant some tomatoes in my grow bags and grow them in the greenhouse. I'm also going to plant some peppers in um, one gallon containers or maybe two gallon containers and grow those in the greenhouse too. So I'll be growing peppers and tomatoes inside the greenhouse as well as in these extra beds that I have left over. So I thought I'd show you that and I'll also be show, um, growing my tomatoes will be um, all along the fence line um, so on the whole exterior of our uh, I mean the whole um, perimeter of the fence line all the way around. So it'll be about uh, 40 feet by, no, about 30 by 40. And, um, and we're gonna have tomatoes all the way around. So hopefully I'll have enough tomatoes that I can can this year. Um, we shall see. I also bought, um, what did I do with those? Uh, I bought, oh, here they are. I've got a bag of onions here that I have to get put into the ground today. Um, it's just uh, yellow onion sets and um, $1.55 for this bag of onions. And then I got some carrot um, half long um, Nantes carrots. These are the, this is the seed tape which I wanted to try uh, this year because carrots are just so difficult to um, deal with those little tiny seeds and then you have to thin them out and this really eliminates a lot of that. There is some thinning to be done, but uh, I, I just thought I'd try one of these. It's $5, you know. I'm going to break the bank if it doesn't work. Um, and if it does make my life easier, then it's worth $5. So I'm going to plant those today and, um, and these onions, and then I'll be done. Um, my son will be uh, tending the garden while I'm gone. And... Um, watering just making sure everything is is cool and what watching my seedlings that are in the uh, grow box inside the house and my tomatoes I'm today I'm going to transplant my tomatoes and my peppers and hopefully um, I can you know start setting those outside in the shade where they can start getting hardened off a little bit and I've got a big bucket of compost tea that I'm going to give them a little sip of today so hopefully they'll get um, turned there they've been growing at the window there um, so they're a little pale and I just think they need a boost so I'm going to give them some compost tea and see how they like that so I just thought I'd give you a little update on what's happening with the garden and um, and where we are uh, I've got like two and a half um, long beds uh, left to plant plus what's under here um, under this hoop house so um, I would say maybe three beds left to plant and um, I'm excited when I get home I'm going to um, to plant some squash 
and some cucumbers and I really should plant peas before I leave. Oh, there's always so much to do. I, I really wanted to plant some more sugar snap peas. I just loved those last year and um, I think I'll do that. That's not hard to do. I'll plant some sugar snap peas and get those in before we leave and get a trellis up over it uh, so if they start to come up they'll have some place to go and um, I'll get get all the gardening done hopefully today and tomorrow and then I'll pack on Thursday and, uh, and we're leaving Friday morning at the crack o dawn so we will be gone um, eight days and I'm really looking forward to it although to plant all these plants and then to turn around and leave <laughs> it's really hard it's like giving birth and walking out on your child it's, it's really hard but I'm gonna do it anyhow and um, enjoy what time I can before the garden starts springing forth and requires that you know I do more work to you know to uh, can it or freeze it or dehydrate it or whatever so but I can't tell you how wonderful it feels to be out here in this sunshine and the breeze and the uh, birds chirping and um, just to feel the heat of the sun on your back as you're working. It just feels great and uh, I'm loving it every minute of it. So just thought I'd share that with you guys and uh, I'll be talking with you when you get when I get back and I'm going to be bringing my camera along with me so I can take some pictures. Um, we're going on a catamaran um, excursion with some snorkeling. Of course I won't be doing pictures while we're snorkeling obviously but uh, um, I'll be doing some taking some nice uh, photos maybe from the balcony window and um, as we sail off and that sort of thing so you'll get a, a little taste of what our vacation was like. So uh, I'll have that surprise for you when we get back. Okay, take care YouTube, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.